Welcome to today's Escape to the Country. These beautiful Victorian gardens behind me were once described by Thomas Hardy as quite the prettiest sight I ever saw in my life. Where are we? Well, stick around and I'll show you. In today's show, I'll be helping a couple of self-confessed urbanites make a break for a new life with their young family in the country. Wow. Come in, Scott. My <laughs> goodness me. My goodness. That's fantastic. I'll be showing them an array of attractive rural properties. Well, I don't think you need to bother showing us the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, there's the mystery house, which might just brew up a storm. Well, today we're on the historic border between Dorset and Wiltshire at the glorious Llama Tree Gardens. They're set within the enormous Cranbourne Chase estate and they were created back in 1880 by the estate's then owner, General Pitt Rivers, as a place for enlightenment and entertainment. The perfect place to start any escape to the country. In the heart of the south coast, Dorset covers 1,000 square miles. The Cranbourne Chase dominates the northeast corner of the county, offering a spectacular landscape designated an area of outstanding natural beauty. Fighting it out for breathtaking scenery is the county's Jurassic Coast, 95 miles of heritage coastline headlining with landmarks such as Durdle Door. Lying at the eastern end, Sandbanks is still topping the charts. Constantly undergoing stylish redevelopment, it's now a densely packed playground for the privileged few, with land prices amongst the fourth most expensive in the world. The rest of Dorset couldn't be more different, with 50% of the population living in the southwest corner, vast swathes of countryside are sparsely populated, making it a wonderful place to live. Now, when it comes to property hunting in Dorset, the pocket that is the Cranbourne Chase area is one of the more undiscovered parts, and that's simply because around 40% of it is covered with enormous landed estates. And when you couple that to the fact that it's also one of the most depopulated parts of the southwest, you get the idea that finding your ideal rural retreat can be like looking for a needle in a haystack. But as ever, if you know how to look and where to look, there is plenty on offer. Hiding in 15 acres of land in Tarrant Launceston is this four-bedroom equestrian property on the market for £1.5 million. The former farmhouse has been refurbished to a high standard, yet hasn't lost sight of its period charm, and the horses are well taken care of with the stables, paddock and manege. If that's a bit of a stretch but you still need an equestrian property, then how about this thatched house in Woodlands? At 545,000, the three-bedroom home has just over two acres of gardens and paddock, and from the stable block, it's just a short ride out to the bridleways and forest. Or finally, how about this three-bedroom cottage in Winfrith, on the market for 395? The rooms are large and light, and the brick fireplaces and timber beams are a feature of the property, as is the well-maintained mature garden, which is packed with trees and shrubs. So as you can see, there are plenty of very pretty properties on offer here in Dorset, which to my mind is as good a reason as any as to why today's buyers would want to move here. And they are Scott and Lorraine, who live in a three-bedroom semi-detached bungalow in Surrey with their two children, Lewis and Amy, and their collection of pets. Unfortunately for the children, they don't have the full run of the back garden, as Scott has turned his hobby into a business. Uh, this is our microbrewery. This is a family business that we started two years ago. It's very quickly taken off and now I need more space. But it's not just the brewery that's making them so eager to hot-foot it to Dorset. We're fed up with the rat race. It's too busy and too built up around here now and we think we could have a much better way of life in the countryside. We've talked about looking to move for the last seven years really. When we used to go on holiday a lot down in the West Country and we used to think, oh, wow, wouldn't it be great to live places yeah. like this? And the time was never right, but now the time's right for us. The children are at the right age, and we've got a business that we can move and relocate. Scott and Lorraine have spent hours looking at houses on the internet, but as yet they haven't seen any in the flesh. We're both uh, apprehensive about moving. We've been here a long time. All our lives we've lived in a suburban area, so it is a big step. Um, but it's also a challenge, and we're both quite excited about it as well. We like starting an adventure. Yeah. Great. So what sort of property will match their dream? We'd like a four-bedroomed detached house with spacious rooms. We'd like a property that's got 
character. A nice farmhouse kitchen with low beams or something, a nice view out Inglenook over the country. Inglenook fireplaces. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also in the property, we would be looking for a suitable amount of land around the property for us to run the business from, and ideally with outbuildings. But we would consider a property that didn't have outbuildings if there was suitable space in future for us to put our own up. The land will be put to good use with a vegetable patch for the children and will hopefully accommodate a few extra family members too. This is Fluffy, my daughter's rabbit. Uh, the one thing we're really looking forward to when we move is to have more pets. Ideally, we'd like to have chickens as well. We're keen to crack on with the search, but first, Scott and Lorraine need to get a current valuation for the house they bought 11 years ago for 110000 This is a lovely uh, bungalow, beautifully um, maintained and improved by the owners in a very popular residential area. I believe the current valuation to be in the region of £350,000, although due to the unique nature of the business at the end of the garden, perhaps um, up to around £400,000. Personally, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Happy with just that. hope we can achieve it. So what's in the coffers for us to go house hunting with? Our budget is going to be £400,000. We're willing to pay that if the property ticks all the right boxes. Now, it's clear that the driving force behind this move is Scott's need to expand his brewing business, but, of course, they do need a family home to go with it. Specifically, they want someone with at least three bedrooms, lots of character, an area outside for a veg patch and maybe some chickens and, of course, some all-important L buildings for the business of brewing beer. Now, given that the Cranbourne Chase postcode is arguably one of the most exclusive and expensive in this part of the world, my guess is their budget of £400,000 or so could be a bit stretched. Scott and Lorraine will still need to make beer deliveries to their existing customers in Surrey until they build up a new client base in Dorset. Therefore, we're concentrating the search around the north of the county where the travel time back to Surrey should be less than two hours. In today's show, I'll be taking them on a whistle-stop tour of three terrific properties, but as ever, I'll leave them in the dark regarding the prices until they've had a good look around. The last of the three is the mystery house, which I can promise will cause a bit of a stir. Well, guys, welcome to North Dorset. Is this the sort of thing you had in mind, the heart of Cranbourne Chase? Oh, it's perfect. It's really absolute, ideal. Absolutely superb. Well, it is superb for a very good reason, which also makes it very, very popular mm. and very mm. expensive. Yes. Now, your budget of 400 grand or so, can that be pushed at all? 430, 430 tops. max. So it's creeping up a little bit? Mm. Yeah, yeah. OK, well, we're going to need all of that, I suspect, because there's quite a lot to fit in, isn't there? There is. Yeah. You two, your two kids... Amy and Lewis, Lewis yeah. and a growing menagerie of yeah. animals. Yeah, I've got cats, rabbits, fish, and fish. hopefully chickens in the future. Hopefully chickens yeah. in the future. Yeah. So this really is a kind of lifestyle change, isn't it? Because Absolutely. you can take the brewery yeah. with you yes. and have it all at home. Yeah. That's the plan initially, yes. Well, we've got an awful lot of you to look at. Mm. Dorset beckons, as you can see. Here it is. Right. Let's go and see what we can find Excellent. here. Excellent. Brilliant. Scott and Lorraine have a budget of up to £430,000 and for that they're looking for a detached house with character features, a farmhouse kitchen, four bedrooms, an outbuilding for the business and enough land for a vegetable patch and a few animals. Now we always assume that it's a big move for buyers but what about the children? How do they feel about it? Well, that was a big concern obviously. Mm. We've discussed yeah. it at length for both of them. Um, they're both very excited they about are. it, which is encouraging. It's very difficult to fit in, again, sometimes if friends have got their established groups. Mm. Um, but I think they're young enough to overcome that. And if we don't do it now, I don't think we'll ever do it. And we'll spend the rest of our lives wondering what mm. might have been. Yes, we don't want to regret not having done it. No. The first house on our viewing list, and indeed the first house ever in Dorset for Scott and Lorraine, is in East Stour, four miles west of Shaftesbury and two hours from clients in Surrey. This small village sits amongst the tranquillity of the Blackmoor Vale. Much of the land here is given over to dairy farming, and with countryside like this on their doorstep, there will be plenty for the family to explore. The house we've lined up dates back to 1600 at its core, and if it's character they're looking for, well, we're in for a real treat. Right then, house number one. Right. Okay. On our grand tour of Dorset. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? That's really pretty. It's very nice. Wow, yeah. I can't wait to Absolutely. see it. Absolutely. 
I like the look of it. it looks really good. Lots I really of... like the stonework on the front. It looks really, really nice. Um, but I suppose the other obvious thing to point out, Scott, is that structure. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> it definitely feels like a medieval brewery does, to me. Yeah. It's yeah, certainly it's got good. some character to it, which is exactly what is needed for a small mm. brewery. It wouldn't yeah. take long to have it up and running in there. But um, let's get into the main event, the house. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. That's the brewery sorted, and I'm really excited to show them the house. Right, then. Come in the rain. Wow. Come in, Scott. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> my goodness. What do you yeah. think? That's fantastic. It's really, really Look at that nice. that staircase. We've got a little office area for you in here. Right. Uh, as you can see, there's the old outside wall of the property. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the oldest surviving window here, too. Really? But come through here, because this right. is quite exciting. Look, love these doors. Oh, wow. Solid. And, of course, the rest of the building. Very, That's your 16th nice. century. Wow, and look at that fireplace. Beams. Yeah. Window nice. seats. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. It's got bags of character. It's just isn't stunning. It? Breathtaking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll come through here because you've got you another original, beautiful fireplace. Oh, wow. wow. That is a fireplace, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't think you need to bother showing us the rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it gets better, trust me. I think this is a gorgeous room, though. Um, this beam over the fireplace mm. is in itself original oh. to the house. But if you look at this, Beam. Can you see there's some graffiti on there and some marks? See that circle? Oh, yes. With the, with the, oh, with the yes. leaves on? Yeah. These are witches' marks. Really? Put on to ward off evil witches. And oh. what's, what's quite curious is that there are several of them, so there was obviously a bit of a, a witch issue. Oh, really? <laughs> but presumably that's Hopefully all gone. Hopefully they're all gone now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. It's so rewarding to find such history in old properties, and it's easy to see why this house is grabbing them. But will the kitchen be the picture of Lorraine's dreams? Through to the kitchen. Downstairs okay. loo, which is always nice. That's handy, definitely. Okay. And then this is it. Wow. This is good. It's something of a sort of little dining area, too. Yeah. You so see? all the right boxes here. Well, hey. Yeah. This is just too perfect. Yeah, yeah just say that again. This is too <laughs> perfect. Yeah. OK. Very happy. So far. So far. So far, yes. Let's get explore that staircase <laughs> and go upstairs and have a look. After you. I absolutely <laughs> love this. It's so original. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> really fun. Now we've got uh, Amy and Lewis, haven't That's we? That's right, yes. yes. Would this work for Lewis? I believe it would. I, I think I, so. I might be a bit tight for his toys, but I've always <laughs> said he's got too some, many. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, moving's always a good, good cathartic... Yes, have a good sort out. ..process, yeah, exactly. Well, Definitely. his sister might be next door. Let's have a right. look at where Amy might go. Have a look in there. Here you go. Wow. This is a good size. Yeah, it is a good size. Yeah. Amy, Amy would love this for a bedroom. Yeah. So pretty. I think it could cause a few arguments, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be fighting over this bedroom, I think. Mm. All right. Well, what about you two? Oh, yes. Can't oh, wait. Bedroom. Can't oh. wait. Go and have a look. <laughs> OK. Last but not least. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Now, to be fair, it's not the most enormous of bedrooms. But this is currently set up as the master, probably yeah. because it's got this oh, really stunning yes. fireplace feature in it. Beautiful um, floor, yeah. Nice view over the garden yeah. and so forth. It's a real cracker of a property, and I think they can see themselves at home here. Even the bathroom is full of character. So with the brewing business taken care of in the barn, it's time to see if the garden offers them what they're looking for. OK, wow. what have we got out here for you? It's very pretty. It's very pretty. It's not acres, to be honest no, with you. No. Um, but it does have all the sort of components. You've got right. a bit of mature garden for the kids to play yeah. in. Um, nice, very well looked after vegetable patch, as you can yeah. see. That's perfect. That's yeah. ideal, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, greenhouse and so forth, as you can right. see. It's very pretty. It is pretty country garden. Don't know where the chickens would go. <laughs> no, I think maybe we could get a few in somewhere around here. We don't necessarily need a greenhouse. No, no, that's true. Um, but you get another view mm. of this really. Pretty mm, period. It's gorgeous. Mm. It is very picturesque. Very, mm. very pretty, yeah. But of course, the acid test is going to be how much it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to think. <laughs> well, let's have a think because mm. it is our first one. Yeah. It's a chance for you to really gauge the market mm. here. Mm. Uh, actually, mm. generally looking around somewhere for the first time. Scott, go on. Well, it's got to be at the top end, mm. hasn't it? Uh, That's I, what would I would have thought. Say. It's going to be a stab mm. in the dark. But I'd say it's got to be. Around 420. 
420. Mm, I'd range. say a max 430. 430. Mm. You're quite good, aren't you, you two? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you've just straddled it. It's on the market for 425. Is it? Really? Yeah. Ah. So, the good news is that you've yeah. got a pretty realistic yeah. eye for what things are going to cost you here. Um, the other thing, of course, is that it is technically under budget. Yeah. You know, wow. Top end of your budget. Yeah. But without an awful lot to do. Mm. The only thing, I suppose, is to put a bit of money mm. into mm. the barn at the front. Yeah. How does that feel? I mean, it is... Optimistic, definitely, about it, yeah. Yes. Good. Yeah. That hasn't frightened you off. No, no. Certainly <laughs> not. I certainly wouldn't rule it out. No. Good. All right. Well, we've got plenty of time. Go and have a look around. Yes. And I'll okay. catch up with you later. OK, thank okay. you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I have to say, I am absolutely delighted. The nice thing about Scott and Lorraine is that they haven't actually looked at any properties in this area at all. So showing them the first one is always going to be something of a challenge. But the good news is it's under budget and they love it. At £430,000, this house does offer Scott and Lorraine the vast majority of what they're looking for. It's packed to the rafters with character. It has three bedrooms, a ready-made vegetable patch for the children, and an outbuilding that could easily house their microbrewery. Well, this property has got bags of character. What with the beams and the fireplaces, it's just gorgeous. It's ideal for us. Someone's clearly put an awful lot of love into this property. The exposed woodwork is beautiful. So much detail here and so many features that are quite overwhelming. My only concern, really, would be the size of the garden. But saying that, it is very pretty and maybe that's a sacrifice we would take. It definitely gets the thumbs up from me. Oh, oh well, yes. What do you certainly. think of this? Yeah, there's good storage space up there, which is very yeah. useful. Yeah, I think it should just about manage with some adaptation. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ideas fermenting? <laughs> yes. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> good. They certainly are. I'm feeling thirsty myself. Come on. Scott and Lorraine will be looking for plenty of ideas for family days out when they move, and top of my list would be the Llama Tree Gardens, created by one of my great archaeological heroes from the past, Augustus Henry Lane Fox. As an archaeologist and keen gardener, I couldn't resist a visit to this wonderful venue. Lane Fox, an army general, inherited the Rushmore estate on the Cranbourne Chase in 1880, on the proviso he changed his name to Pitt Rivers. It was here that he embarked on pursuing his passion for archaeology and education, and he's regarded by many as the father of English archaeology. Adrian Green from the Salisbury Museum knows more about this remarkable man, and I'm meeting him in front of the singing theatre, which is still in use today. Now, for any of us interested in history, the name Pitt Rivers is unrivalled in some respects, but I had no idea he was such a keen gardener. <laughs> Nor did I, actually, until I came and worked down here two years ago. We've all heard about the fact that Pitt Rivers was a very famous archaeologist, but not that he'd set up a pleasure gardens in the middle of Cranbourne Chase. This is a place that I suspect is all about fun and less about formal gardening. Absolutely. It was a way of drawing people in, actually. Um, you've got to bear in mind that in the 19th century, all this area was covered in private estates, and working people would not have had access to places like this. So Pitt Rivers created something here that would lure people in, because what he also had here was some serious learning. There was the fun here, but also down the road in Farnham, there was a museum which was full of all of his archaeological discoveries from the local area. So he thought, well, you know, if I've got the museum here, why not have a pleasure garden too, where people can make a day of it? Well, it's an extraordinary thought that this man created these gardens just to get people interested in history. Absolutely. <laughs> By 1899, the gardens, with their ornate buildings, wonderful shrub borders and water features, were an enormously popular theme park, attracting 44,000 visitors a year. But, unfortunately, they later fell into disrepair. Today, with the help of English heritage, they've been restored to their former glory, to be enjoyed once again. What is it for you that really sets Pitt Rivers apart as an archaeologist? Well, it's, it's attention to detail, really. He recorded the sites, you know, where the objects were found. He produced detailed plans of them. He even published what he did, which was pretty ahead of his time. There were four volumes, like this one, <laughs> full of all the archaeological <laughs> finds that he made. So it's an invaluable resource for modern archaeologists. I mean, the fact that it ended up in his hands really has left us something for the future that we all still enjoy. Yeah, I mean, Pitt Rivers himself said that it was like some unforeseen hand had passed the estate to him so we could follow his passions. And today we can come here still, come to the Llama Tree Gardens and also walk in his footsteps across the estate exploring the landscape that's here today. It is without doubt a stunning and peaceful place and I'm sure it will be high up on anyone's list of family days out. 
But as the last of the sun fades over Dorset, day one of our property search is at an end. Scott and Lorraine from Adelstone in Surrey want to relocate their family and brewing business to North Dorset and have a budget of up to £430,000 that they hope will make their dream come true. So far, they've viewed one house which got them excited, but coming up, we leave Lorraine speechless. Now, what about this for a kitchen? Oh, my goodness. Wow, I don't know what to say. But will they be raising their glasses or crying into their beers by the end of the day? Confusing us now. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> well, you know, it's a mystery house. <laughs> yeah. It's the beginning of our final day's house hunt here in Dorset. And there it is, stretching away behind me, this absolutely glorious county. It's perfectly clear that Scott and Lorraine have fallen in love with this place and they've also, it seems, fallen in love with one of our properties. The question is, can we better it today? Two more to come, including the mystery house. Let's see how we go. Well, we've had you in Dorset for a little while now. It's not an area that you've known that well. Now you've seen a bit more of it. Are you sure you want to move here? Very much so. It's not as flat as I was expecting. Uh, the scenery is far more hilly and you can see it as well because the hedges aren't too high. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feels like home to me already. It's oh. great. That's a good sign. Yeah. OK. Well... Beautiful. I know that you have kind of fallen in love with a property already. Yeah, that's true. So we've got to see if we can better that. OK. Uh, I think that was quite a tall order, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> ah, ah, well... <laughs> We're heading east this morning to the village of Holwell. At two and a half hours, it's the furthest from Surrey, but it's such a cracking property, we couldn't overlook it. Hazelbury Bryan, just three miles away, is a tidy and attractive village with a popular pub and a village store. The house we've come to see dates back to the early 19th century and has all the character Scott and Lorraine crave. There we are. Wow. <laughs> that looks great. Our first offering on our final day's house hunt. Fantastic. Yeah. Very nice. That looks really good. I like, yeah. like the look of that. Yeah. It's got a sort of farmhouse feel to it. Plenty of character. Yeah, it's very pretty. Scott, big double garage yeah. for you there. Yes. You may want to make that a little bit bigger perhaps yeah. over time, but you could, in theory, get going in there with the brewery. Yes, it certainly would be a start. Can't wait to see the rest of it. Well, let's not hang around. Yeah. <laughs> if Scott is having doubts about the size of the garage, he could always rent an industrial unit and enjoy the benefits of the brewery not being on their doorstep. Right, in we go. Right. As you can see, utility room oh. and oh, boot excellent. room, etc. Really? If you've got two doors to this place. This is really the back door, essentially. Right. And it leads onto the kitchen through right. here. OK. There we are. Lorraine. Wow. Now, that is what I call a farmhouse kitchen. Brilliant. Yeah. With a range cooker. Certainly is. I thought this was kind of what you were yeah. having in mind, Yeah, rustic feel to it. Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Really like it. Th through there, we've got you a little study area, too. So, yeah. what do you think, Scott? Uh, I'm lost for words, really. Taking it's, it all in. Uh, <laughs> It's got a lovely feel to it. It has a very yeah. warm feel, isn't it, as soon as you come through the door? Yeah, yeah. yeah. cosy, cottage. Exactly. Type. It's looking good. It's <laughs> looking good, it's brilliant. Well, let's see if it keeps looking good. Yeah, come with me. Okay. We're going into the older bit, effectively. Okay. Right. Look at this. Oh, my word. That's yes. spectacular, yeah. isn't yeah, it? That is very nice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's really uh, good. Very nice. Full now, of character. The, full of character. Yeah. The ingle nook there has a flue in it. There's no wood burner there at the moment, but you could... So it could be put back into use. Yeah, you could yeah. actually... Mm. Do you do a lot of dining? Yeah, we do oh, we like do. to sit around yes. the table to eat, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Great for Sunday roasts. Super. Yeah. You're painting the picture, Scott, yeah. and it's all good, I can see it. I'll be around for lunch with you. <laughs> good. All right. Well, come through here. Here's the living room, full of lots more lovely features as well. Wow. Yeah. Look at that fireplace. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Nice size. And nicely yeah. out of the way, too. Yeah. It's when you've much... cooked, you've had dinner, you can come and tuck yeah. yourselves away down Relax here. Relax down mm. here. Brilliant. It's cosy without being too small as well. Yeah. There's enough room to spread out. Yeah, it's nice and light as well. This house exudes character and warmth, everything that I think Scott and Lorraine are looking for, and the conservatory off the lounge is a real bonus. But next for us, let's go upstairs. You've got a bath and shower room in there. OK. All right. Little box room in here. Right. Yeah. That's a good okay. size. Yeah. yeah. Cozy little room. And this is really the sort of main guest room. Oh. Nice. Which That's I'd be very happy size. with if I was staying in. Oh, here. definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. yeah. Lots of space and lots of character mm. and a place that you can really grow into. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I can too. Yeah. yeah. 
OK, mm. good. Right, mm. well, there's two more bedrooms to see. OK. Let's uh, continue. Off you go, down there. So of the four bedrooms, number three is in here. Oh, little yes. box okay. room, currently a nursery. All right. But of the two bathrooms, this one, I think, really is the family bathroom. OK. Wow, that is a good size. Oh, goodness me, yes. Yeah. A much better size, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the other interesting thing is that it's right next door to the master bedroom. Right. So mm -hmm. you could punch through that wall, potentially, mm -hmm. okay. and give yourselves an ensuite. Mm. Yeah, that's certainly worth thinking about. Like the sound of yeah. that. Mm. Bit more work for you, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, the master bedroom. All right. Wow. That is good. That's more like it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's a good size. Really Windows good. Windows on three sides. Three sides. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Really love it. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Mm. Excellent. Right. Well, let's have a look outside in the garden because I know that is important mm, to you. Excellent. Can't wait. All right. Let's yeah. see what you make of it. Okay. There's bags of room in this house for the whole family, and I think the children are going to love the garden. Sunshine. All right. <laughs> now, as we start to go through the garden, you get an idea that it's in sort of zones, as it were. Right. Little formal area here, yeah. kind of thing, box hedging and so forth. Yeah. Um, but the lawn is great. This, I think the kids would have a lot of fun yes, in. Yes, nice size. Great size. Yeah. Some very mature fruit trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think this is a garden you can have a lot of fun in. Yeah, it's lovely. A lot great of fun size. There. Now then, chickens. Yes, plenty of room for them. Chickens. <laughs> I think you've got blags of room for that if yeah. you need it. Plus also vegetables. Mm. Let me have oh, a look brilliant. at this. Well, this yeah. all went in about five years ago, okay. this structure and the hedge and oh, so forth. great. Potatoes there? Yeah. Right. That's all ready to go, isn't Some it? Some parsley over there. OK. And then lots of little fruit bushes here, too, right. which is quite interesting. Oh, little that's greenhouse good. there. Yeah. So all right. the kind of messy business mm. of hardcore organic gardening mm. happens out the way in a very organised little space. Yeah, that's great. Wow, it all looks very good, it all sounds very good, but, uh, Jules, can we afford it? Well, <laughs> that's the million dollar question. The question. Well, let's have a little stroll back onto the lawn, shall we, and yeah, think about it? Yeah, mm. okay. I wonder what figures have been running through your wow. minds yes. as we've walked mm. through this property. Um, all right, well, let's get it everything done with. Let's talk about yes. the difficult bit. Okay. okay. You've got 430 maximum. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Lorraine? Well, I think 440. 440, a mm. little bit over budget. Mm. Yep, okay. Well, I think it's definitely got to be towards the top end of our budget. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with 430. 430. What if it was 440? Just 10 grand uh, over. Be disappointed. Well, mm. don't be disappointed, Lorraine, because yeah. it's not 440 and it's not 430, right. Scott. This can be yours for £425,000. Really? Pounds. Oh, that's good news. I'd say that was very mm. good news. Yeah, it's got so yeah. much of what we're looking for. I mean, yeah. it really will be mm. a serious contender for us. Definitely. Good. Yes. Right, well, go and have a look around this Thank serious you. contender. Okay. Thank you. And I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. £425,000 for a property that really is a viable proposition for Lorraine and for Scott. Not only does it offer all the accommodation thereafter, but it has a wonderfully warm feel. And that's one of the things about looking around houses. Sometimes they do just scream out, and this is one of them. It's a real winner. At 425000 this characterful home is tucked just under their budget. It has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a good-sized garden with a ready-made vegetable patch and a double garage. It's clear they love the house, and if size is an issue in the garage, will they consider other options for the business? So, what do you think about this for the brewery? Well, it's not really ideal. Uh, you know, the roof height's not here, there's not enough floor space. Mm. But we could temporarily or, or permanently put it in a local trading estate, okay. which is something we could seriously look at. Right. I really like this house. It's a great place. Lovely garden, plenty of space. The rooms have all got some character. I can see there's quite a bit of work here for me to do, but I'm not particularly put off by that because there would be no rush to get that done. It's just perfect. I love the farmhouse feel to it. It has four bedrooms, large kitchen. It's got a large garden, which I can see the children and the cats and the chickens running around in. So, yes, it definitely ticks all the right boxes. I don't think the business would work here. There isn't really the space for the brewery. Having said that, the, the division between home life and work life has been blurred for a long time. So I would be quite happy to put it elsewhere, locally maybe in an industrial unit or something. 
Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Right. Enjoying what might be your garden. Yeah. Who knows? Definite contender. Definite contender. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. It's not over yet, though. Okay. Plenty more to see. Excellent. Well, at long last, it is Mystery House time. Now, to be honest, I would love to offer Scott and Lorraine something like this. But clearly, that would challenge their budget. But then so too will the Mystery House. But if I'm honest, I think it's a challenge worth taking on. It's time to reveal that our Mystery House is in Stallbridge, 11 miles southwest of Shaftesbury, and about a two and a quarter hour journey back to valued clients in Surrey. With under 3,000 residents, Stallbridge is Dorset's smallest town. It has a good selection of independent shops, yet retains a relatively laid-back feel, so Scott and Lorraine need not worry about being in the thick of a busy town. Our mystery house is believed to date back to the 17th century and is Grade 2 listed. With a possible business sweetener in store, it's a proposition too good to overlook. OK, our final offering on our little tour of the properties yeah. of Northern Dorset. Right. The mystery house. Oh, wow. That's different, isn't it? It's very yeah. different. Well, it's allowed to be. It is the mystery yes. house. But this one is very different in some respects. Okay. And we often use that word TARDIS. It's thrown around a lot, but this really is ah. genuinely something of a TARDIS. Sounds interesting. And although technically it is a semi, mm. yeah. which I know you didn't Yeah, want, that's true, yeah. Trust us on this one. Okay. When you get inside, <laughs> you'll see why we brought you here. OK. Right. It is quite extraordinary. We yeah. trust you. Yeah. We're keeping open <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Right, in you come. Okay. There we are, one of two reception rooms we've got for you. What do you think? I like it. It's great, isn't it? Really good size. Yeah. Very striking fireplace. Real but... feature, isn't it? Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> now, what about this for a kitchen? Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's so incredible. That's, uh... <laughs> It's completely different to anything I've seen. Oh, that's wonderful. It's contemporary, sort of mixed with traditional, but it looks yeah. like a lot of fun. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. In... Behind us, we've got a walk-in pantry. Brilliant. Larder, and through that door is a downstairs cloakroom. Um, we started in the 17th century. Right. This is now the 18th okay. century. Giant leap forward through this oh. doorway to the 21st century. Oh. Come and have a look at this. <laughs> through here. Oh. It's great. Great dining area. Yeah. Right. An all-inclusive mm. space in which to... Yeah. Dine to relax, yeah. have the kids doing yeah. their homework. It's nice and light. Oh, excellent. It's a great living area. Mm. Mm. Confusing us now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, you know, it's a mystery house. Yeah. <laughs> this house offers plenty of space for Scott and Lorraine's family, and back off the hall, there's a further reception room which could be ideal as a playroom. It also houses the staircase, which leads up to five bedrooms. So the whole TARDIS theme really continues up here. All right. Because okay. you've got your five bedrooms, of course. There's one in there. That's a good size. We'll rattle through them. OK. Wow. One there overlooking the road. Yeah, another good size room. Yeah. And again, the kids could have these rooms for the next ten years. Well, that's right. You know, Definitely, effectively. Yeah. And then we've got three of five in there. Again, another <laughs> great size. Wow. That is good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Just blown away. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one up there, number four. Right. OK. okay. Let's have a look at the master. <clears throat> so there we are. Last but not least. OK. The master. Right. And the view. Wow. That is it's, impressive. It's incredible. Yeah. Wow. The view is amazing. The rooms are little on the small side. Mm -hmm. Plenty of storage, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's always an issue with us, isn't it? Storage. Yeah. How are we doing? Doing so very well. Good. On a scale. Oh. oh higher than, higher than uh, I was expecting. Mm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Eight and a half. You had no faith in the mystery house. Eight and a half, Scott. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> All right. Uh. That's a score I'm happy with, and the bathroom next door, although small, is beautifully put together. But now I'm really looking forward to showing off what lies outside. So just when you thought... You'd seen it all here. <laughs> right. There's a lot more out here. Okay. Very useful garage space for you, Scott. Yes. And then down here we've got this range of buildings, which are really interesting. Oh wow. There we are. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Wouldn't this make a really pretty brew It house? would. Mm. It certainly would. Yeah? Yeah. You've done well here, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets better because better. you wanted a big garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about an acre? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, we've talked a lot about vegetables on our property tours. We right. did. 
How about that? That's wow. very well organised. Very well organised. Nice little kitchen garden for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And down there, an orchard. <laughs> no, really? I mean, great place for the kids to play around in. I mean, all the games in the dens. And look at all these apple trees. I mean, wow. What about making cider? Yeah, <laughs> let's give it a go. <laughs> OK, let's stop here, shall we? <laughs> it does go on a little further. Right. Yeah. But it okay. gives you an idea that this very long acre offers mm. all sorts of possibilities. Mm. It's fantastic. Children will be blown away with it. OK. Oh, they'd be overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about the money, because this is quite mm. a tricky one. Yeah. yeah. You've got 4.30. Mm. I think we all know which mm. side of that this property yes. is going to be. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's way over our budget, I would have thought. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Closer to 500, I would have said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the only, only thing is it being semi-detached, that might be in our favour slightly on mm -hmm. the value. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real difficult call, this one. Mm. I'm going to push my luck and say 450. 450. Gosh, I wish it were. I honestly wish it was. You are much closer to the truth. Really? It was on the market for the best part of £600,000. No. It's now on the market for 499 Really? OK. Yes, yeah. it's 70000 over budget. Let's not pretend that's not a small mm. amount of money. But because this property fits you so well, we thought it was worth showing it to you. The other point to make is that this area has recently been allocated quite a substantial sum for investing in new business in the area that's in support of tourism, the agrarian economy and local employment. And that's a cool pot of £2.85 million pounds in grants that are available. Mm. Now, you as a business coming into the area that's looking to expand and mm. employ people and so forth, from our very brief conversations with them, we're led to understand that it's the sort of thing that might be of interest, OK? okay. Which may help mm. you look ahead through your business plan to find that extra £70,000 with a kind of medium-term view mm. on where you're going to be. Yeah, it's certainly worth pursuing. Mm. I think it's certainly worth pursuing. It's a few phone calls, a couple of letters. Yeah. You know, you never yeah. know. It, they mm. might, there might be some interest-free scheme or something that yeah. would allow you to say, actually, we love this house so much. Mm. It works for us as a business. Mm. It works for us as a location, as a family mm. home. Let's try and make it. it. Yeah. <laughs> At a shade under £500,000, this house is an interesting proposition. It has three reception rooms, the farmhouse-style kitchen they crave, five bedrooms and an outbuilding which would accommodate their business. It is 70 grand over budget, but it has everything they want and options they can investigate. It is without doubt worthy of consideration. It's everything that I'm looking for personally. You can walk out the front door onto the high street, everything's within walking distance and you wouldn't even know it when you came in the house. It feels like a really happy home, but most of all, this room here, is just what I'm looking for, but it's out of our reach. This property for me has it all. It has a beautiful kitchen, lovely spacious rooms, five bedrooms, and those views are stunning. In an acre of land, what more could you ask for? It's something to consider, even though it's really over budget. I'm going to take some steps, make some inquiries about that grant system and see what we can come up with. But I love this place. And um, that's all I can really say. Yeah. I thought you'd enjoy this one. Mm, yeah. We certainly have. <laughs> but I'm afraid that's it, guys. House tours are now over. That was the mystery house. Mm -hmm. You have got, I suspect, some thinking to do. Mm, I should say definitely. so. <laughs> well, let's get you somewhere where you can do just that, right. and then I shall press you for some kind of decision. Oh, dear. Who knows? <laughs> Come on, follow me. Scott and Lorraine's property tour of North Dorset has thrown up some interesting options, but now it's time to weigh up the pros and cons. Now, throughout all of our house tours, Lorraine and Scott have consistently said that we have given them an awful lot to think about. We may even, I dare say, have caused a little bit of confusion, which, to be honest, is no bad thing. But to take the pain out of the decision-making process, I thought, well, how about a picnic? Well, guys, what a lovely place to end our house search. Glorious. There is only one thing wrong with all of this. We're not drinking your beer. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure we can remedy that in the future. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I mean, I yeah. suppose the burning question is, have we found you anywhere in which to make it?
Well, I think you certainly have found us somewhere to make it. Unfortunately, it's a bit out of our reach. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a think about uh, all the things we've shown you. It all started with that lovely little cottage with the great big wooden barn outside. Mm. Yeah, that was special. It was, yeah. a, it was yeah. an adorable place. Yeah. Full of character, mm. beautiful inside. Yeah. Very charming place. And the size of the garden didn't put you off? No. I it was quite no. a manageable size. It was so pretty. But the barn was a really useful space for the brewery. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of tinkering, and I think I could have mm. been up and running in yeah. there. And 425,000 quid, yeah. I thought you were going to write a cheque there and then. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still a consideration, I would have thought. Yeah, good. So we're keeping that one in the air. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right, well, another day came. We all yes. slept on what we'd seen oh, and yes. uh, took you to that lovely great big farmhouse. Yeah, that was Big lovely. garden. Lovely location. Yeah. I thought it was very nice indeed. The mm. kitchen you loved, oh, didn't you? Oh, that was definitely it for me, yeah. Yeah. Farmhouse feel to it, rustic, beautiful. It's a strong contender. Brilliant. OK. Well, it wasn't quite over, because no. then we took you to the mystery house. Yes, <laughs> it confused us. Yeah, it certainly <laughs> got a spanner in the works, that one. <laughs> well, I mean, it certainly didn't look it all from the outside, did no. it? No, no. You know, it was just a very simple fronted, albeit a listed fronted building. Yeah. But my goodness me, I said it was a TARDIS, and I think you'll agree it was. Oh, my goodness me, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. What were your thoughts as we yeah. started going through that property? I just Lorraine? couldn't believe it. I thought it was never going to end, really, especially when we went out to the garden. Yeah. Children would have loved that. I mean... It was a bit yeah. overwhelming. In terms of the brewery, hmm. that was a fascinating outbuilding too. Yeah. It was pretty much the way it needs to be, for me to get straight in there and get brewing, get it set up. Yeah. You know, we have uh, avenues we can explore still with that, the grants that you mentioned. Yeah. And I'm going to make some tentative inquiries, see if we can get anywhere with that. Interesting. Well, you mm. preempted my final question, which is, <laughs> what have you decided to do about any one of these houses? It sounds mm. like you've made your mind up in some respects. Well, I think we have. We have, but we, we need to explore it a little mm. further. Hopefully, within the next week, we'll make a decision one way or the mm. other what so we're going to, to do. There's a lot to think about, to mm. consider. I've got a horrible feeling we've confused you, you too have, much. No, no. <laughs> have you enjoyed the process? Definitely. It's been brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, that is our pleasure. I do hope mm -hmm. we've got some way to finding your ideal dream home and somewhere yeah. you can start making beer. And next time, Scott, mm -hmm. when I see you down in Dorset, I hope I'm not drinking this. I hope I'm drinking yours. Well, <laughs> consider it done. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Well Cheers. done. Cheers. Best of luck. Thank you. You know, in some respects, this has been a funny old house search, really. We started off with a very clear budget of £430,000 and certainly found Scott and Lorraine two very viable properties that came in comfortably under that at a cool £425,000. But the mystery house really did throw a spanner in the works at a whopping £70,000 over budget. Now, that is nothing to be sniffed at, it has to be said, but maybe the moral of the story is that when you're buying a house, it is, of course, a long-term decision, and also they are looking for a business. So maybe the point is, aim high, and you will get what you want. I'll see you next time.